Hi, I'm Helen and I work for the Foresters Forest programme, which is supported by the National Lottery Heritage Fund. The reason for my message today is to explain our blue and green plaque scheme and to draw your attention to its voting campaign we're currently running. So why a plaque scheme? The Forest of Dean has many people that have played a huge part in its history and our forest story. So we decided we would introduce the plaques as a Forester's Forest legacy to officially commemorate 10 of these people. It's also a wonderful way to celebrate our forest and some of its historic heroes. Throughout July, we have an online vote open and we would like your votes to help us decide who out of our nominees will be remembered with a plaque. Our National Lottery Heritage funding provides for five blue plaques and five green plaques. To explain the difference between the two, a blue plaque is a permanent sign installed in a public place to commemorate a link between that location and a nationally famous person or event. A green plaque commemorates a link between that location and a person famous within the forest, someone who isn't generally considered nationally well known. And the nominees? We have a short list of 18 nominees, nine in each category, blue and green. The short list was established through previous community engagement within the forest, and each nominee is backed by a local champion who supports their nomination. The nominees cover significant and wide-ranging aspects of the forest cultural history. They're all notable historic individuals who died over 20 years ago that lived or worked in the forest. They also had to have achieved their fame within the Forest of Dean's 100 of St Breville's area, because this is where the National Lottery funds can be spent. Before I tell you how to vote, I'll tell you about just six of our nominees to give you a little flavour of who's on the shortlist. In the blue category, you'll see David and Robert Mushet, who we remember as the Men of Iron and Steel. Dame Muriel Powell, described as a British nurse ahead of her time, and Flora Clickman, an author and journalist who captured village life. The green plaque category includes Dr. M. L. Bangara, a well-loved community doctor, David Richard Organ, a miner who fought for rights, and Warren James, described as free miner and champion of forest customs. Don't forget to check out the other nominees too. So to recap, we need your votes now to decide the final 10 foresters who should be remembered with a plaque. We've made the voting as simple as possible. Head to our website, foresterforest.uk, and you'll see in the middle of our homepage, we provide a direct link to the blue and green plaque scheme. Once on that page, you can view brief summaries about each of the 18 plaque nominees and on the page, you'll find a link to the online voting form. Vote for your five favourite blue plaque heroes and your five favourite green plaque heroes. If online forms really aren't your thing, you can always send your vote list to us at info at foresterforest.uk. The closing date for votes is 31st of July and the results will be announced in August. Thank you for listening and watching. Please vote for your favourite forest heroes.